Hi, I'm David. And I'm JS. And we're going to review the uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes uh, trailer, which is kind of more of a teaser, right? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, so this is the sequel to the Planet of the Apes that, or the, what was it? The other one had James Franco. So this is the Tim Burton Planet of the Apes. But then before that, there was the original Charles and Hessen Planet of the Apes that had like five movies. Then came uh, the Tim Burton one in 2001 with Mark Wahlberg. A reboot that went nowhere. Pretty much. And then the, the next one had uh, you know motion capture and James Franco, and that, this is the one it's connecting to. Okay. Yes. So uh, James Franco, John Lithgow, Frida Pinto, you won't see any of them in this film. True, we looked up, James Franco doesn't seem to be in the credits for this movie. Now we open with what is clearly like the Redwood Forest from the other movie, mm -hmm. and I see a 76. So obviously, you know, that's a gas station that's now has trees growing all over yeah. it. So that's... It's that's been a cool. while. Yeah. We have this creepy voiceover. Uh, it's, it's obviously Gary Oldman here. Uh, we don't, you know, it's the back of his head. He's talking to, according to IMDb, it's, there's been a virus that's infected Earth, mm -hmm. and these are the last survivors, and sort of the plot of this movie is gonna be, who's gonna be the dominant species? The, you know, the apes or the humans? Yeah. So what do you think, what do you he think talks about how long it's been. I mean, it's only been three years since the last movie, but we're gonna have to suspend our disbelief because it's been apparently almost a decade Yeah. since that awesome fight on the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, that was a great moment in the last movie. Now we have this uh, this guy, sort of a Clint Eastwood like, like yeah, man with I a like poncho him. showing up, and he seems pretty prominent in this. So we get a lot of images really quick there. Um, and here's this guy again, I, someone's significant. So this is Jason. Oh, that's this Jason guy. Clark, right? Yeah, he was in Zero Dark Thirty, right? Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. So we don't—I don't really know what he's going to do in this movie, but he seems to be important. And that, yeah, that there was, was a teaser for this teaser, mm -hmm. and that was all we got. You know, I need to speak to Caesar. Now I think that's James Franco, right? Because doesn't he say that in the other movie? What do you I, think? I don't think that's James Franco. When I first heard it, I thought it was. But now I'm yeah. actually pretty sure it's this character. So if anyone doesn't know, Caesar is the main monkey or the main ape. Yeah. Uh, which we're gonna see soon in the, ne in the next couple shots. There we go. That's him. He's got war paint on. Nice. Almost kind of like a Joker, like white <laughs> paint with like just sort of splattered on his face. He is one angry ape. Yeah. It's just fantastic. I mean, this is obviously an entirely CGI creation, but it looks so good. Yeah, it looks like you just reach out and touch his fur. Is, it's raining. And Andy Serkis is uh, returning to reprise mm -hmm. his role, you know, motion capture role as Caesar. I mean, now there, he's the there, king of mocaps. Wasn't there some controversy over whether or not he should get an Oscar for his performance? Yeah, a lot of people were like sort of campaigning for him to get like best supporting actor or something, which is interesting. That's yeah, it is an interesting debate. If someone does a motion capture performance, should they still be eligible for an Oscar? Um, now, this whole this video is very short, but we I love the way it ends with that. that like, yeah. Just like the look at the them war, all jump. like let's <laughs> go to war, and then they leave, and then we got this awesome title with this great music here. It's sort of, a, it's kind of like the Elysium soundtrack in premium large format theaters. <laughs> I don't actually know what that means, but I mean these are great cuts in here. What do you think of the editing of the trailer, JS? You know, this and uh, what what trailer did we just get yesterday or Was last week? We got Interstellar. Interstellar yeah. You know, a lot of these sci-fi teasers, I'm fine because they're not giving away a lot of the plot. Mm -hmm. This one actually gives us a lot more of the film to look at than Interstellar did, which I think we both agreed was a pretty weak teaser. Um, a lot of stock footage. Yeah. This one does not have any stock footage. I love the rhythm of the cutting, um, the gunshots and someone waking up. It's very mysterious. You know, it's not, uh, there's no bwomping the same way that yeah. like, sort of these other ambiguous mo uh, movie trailers do. Um, it definitely gets me excited. It looks very pretty, and it's, it's yeah. directed by Matt Reeves, who did Cloverfield, which is a film I'm a huge fan of, so I'm excited to see what he can do again in the director chair. And that's that's gonna be one of the like poll quotes of uh, 2014, I'm pretty sure, which is gonna be a great year for sci-fi. Yeah. So this is uh, July 11th, I believe, so. So let us know in the comments what you think, and if you're looking forward to this movie, what you think of Planet of the Apes, uh, just let us know. Yeah, please uh, do. Until next time, I'm David. And I'm JS. Take care.